guys, welcome to the Get A Brood Warehouse. Today we've unpacked some of the all-in-one brewing systems to give you a quick overview of the brands that we stock, the pros and cons, and the differences. So at Get A Brood, we focus on three all-in-one brewing system brands. We have the Grainfeller, which is available in two sizes, the G30 and the G70. We have the Brewmonk again, it's available in two sizes. It's got this size Brewmonk or the Brewmonk Magnus. And then we have the Beacon Brewster by Brewvolution. It's a Beacon 40 or a Beacon 70. You can see the three systems on the table here side by side. Main difference immediately that's gonna to spring to your mind with the Grainfeller is that it comes with a counter flow chiller. That's built into the package deal to the price that you pay. The Brewmonk and the Beacon Brewster are almost identical. There's very few minor differences between them. Visually, the main difference is the finish, whether it's a brushed uh, stainless steel finish or a high shine stainless steel finish. And you'll catch straight away, the Brewmonk comes with a tap and the uh, Beacon is an extra sight glass. I'm gonna take a look at the Grainfeller in a little bit more detail. If I spin this round, one thing that I like with this is that the, it's got graduation markers and they're indented in to the side of the vessel. So you can, you can see whenever you're filling up your strike water before you add your grains where you're filling up to. And it's not gonna rub off because it's indented into the side. It's got a pump, pumps external. It's built in at the side here. Uh, flow control to flow, or to adjust the flow of the pump. Um, this little knob here is for recirculating. So if you're got your mash in, got your lid on, that you can recirculate throughout the mashing process. This little knob comes off and this attaches on for whenever you're ready to cool. So the hot wort comes up through here, goes through the chiller. It's a counter flow. So when the hot wort is going around the coil, cold water is going around the outside of it, cooling it and putting it into the fermenter. So if I pop the lid off, one thing I noticed with the lid, the lid doesn't have a handle. It does have a hole obviously for that to go through, but the other lids do come with a handle and a hole. So the grandfather one doesn't, not a massive deal, but just wanted to point out the difference to you. Um, this is a major plus for a lot of people. Everyone wants to incorporate technology into their life nowadays and they want to be able to monitor everything from the use of their phone. This is a Bluetooth Wi-Fi controller. It allows you to remotely control your grandfather from an app on your phone, create recipes, monitor um, them on your phone, and just basically automate the brewing process. This is a um, temperature probe, which links up to this, communicates everything with it. Um, good, strong, robust build quality. The basket comes up in one stage, whereas the other systems this is a pet hate of mine with all of these systems is that these handles pop out so easily whenever you're working at them. And when you're working at height like this, it's gonna be a little bit awkward to get that back in. So it's one stage, one, one set of clips for when you come, come to lifting the basket out for sparging. Whereas the other devices there, you can see that they've got two little nodules of clips on it, which allows you to lift it up in stages. So this is the green basket. And take a look inside um, green stopper the um, telescopic or it's not actually a telescopic pipe this is just two pieces to the pipe whereas the other devices are telescopic and move up and down one thing that's quite difficult to get right with the, this is if you can look inside there you'll see there's a rubber seal around the mesh that sits in the bottom and the mesh that sits on top of the green basket uh, this is quite difficult to get right and this rubber seal can come off um, that is the only negative that I can think with that it's really good build, build quality bit of a footeriness with the handle but all in all it's a it's a decent malt basket I'm gonna take the circulation pump off um, whenever you're attaching that that you put a bit of warm water on that that slips over the top that allows you to set it just on the top of the green bed you know resting on the top plate that sits on top of the green bed. The actual kettle, if I pop this to let you get a look at it. Inside here is detachable filter. So you can see this little rubber um, 
gizmo catches on to the exit valve which primes the pump as such you can see there the thermal well also that's where your temperature probes going in to take the readings the temperature readings throughout the brew process so main uh, main differences really is clips if you want to clip your lid on tight that's kind of important whenever you're putting the counter flow chiller on the top i'll just very quickly show you good firm grasp there with those little clips the i'm not going to go unwrapping all of the the hosing but you can see there that this slots just nice and snugly down into the pump the circulation side of the pump so push that bit in first and then what's happening then when it comes to the cooling stage is the wort comes out into the pump it's pumped through the counter flow chiller you can see there that there's a blue tube and a red tube blue tube connects up to the tap using the tap connector so you can use a household tap and then the the uh, red tube is your wort coming out that goes into your fermenter because it's brand new and the hosing is in there so if i push that up you can see this little bit here that'll slot just for safety you're dealing with you know hot liquid moving so that slots just nicely in that hole it's holding it there that allows you then to pop this on here and have your um, cold water coming in and your chilled wort going out into the fermenter so the grain filer it's now uh, distributed by bevy it's um, a very well-known brand it's backed up with a three-year warranty it's also backed up with lots of support and help. There's uh, lots of YouTube videos out there. There's lots of uh, forums, Facebook channels. Um, it's, there's a wealth of information out there on what you can do with the grandfather. There also is a lot of branded extras that become available with it. If it's something simple like the grandfather cleaning solution, the stainless steel paddle, and then it changes right up to the glycol chillers and conical fermenters that pair along with that. These other systems have extras and they have um, added value products. They wouldn't have the same catalog or depth of development in the ancillary products that come along with it. The next one that we're gonna look at is the Brewmonk. So Brewmonk is made by Browland. It's manufactured in China, but it's overseen by the Belgium company. They have uh, this system and the Magnus system, the next one up. Main difference between it and the Beacon is obviously going to be the tap on the front of it, if that's your preference. Uh, programmable interface, so all of these systems have where you can put recipes in, you can do all the different steps automated, or you can do it manually, it's up to yourself. Uh, two uh, buttons on the front of it one for power one for the pump so it's really simple to operate like genuinely really really simple 2.5 kilowatt elements in this now the pump on the grain fillers on the outside of it the pump in this is below the this level here so it's built into the base the heating elements are built in here as well there's good handles on it which can be of assistance as well there's no handles on the grain filler. Uh, this is a recirculation pump graduated uh, it's also got the cam lock fitting at the top where you can you can just easily pop it out focusing purely on the the kettle so the brew monk has a bazooka filter obviously the priming hole for the pump everything's built into the base these are the little areas where the grain basket clips onto and as i'd said it's stages where you can bring it out in two different settings. So the, the grain basket, it has the ability to put it on two different places. Again, the handles are they're fittery, but they, they do they do work. You don't want to be lifting this by the side when it's warm, so you need the handle to lift it out whenever you're in use. Inside, um, this is the top plate. So we pop that out you can see there's no rubber seals in that it's folded so it's actually slightly easier to get it in and out and the pipe here is telescopic so pulls up and up and down fixed at the bottom right one difference um, between the beacon brewster 
and the brew monk is the brew monk has the bazooka filter whereas the beacon has like a an insert of a stainless steel that covers the base so we'll show you that whenever we're, we're having a look at that so that's the brew monk really simply um have a look at it comes with a three-year guarantee two different sizes smashing value for money and we're selling them in good volume so the beacon brewster by brewvolution um again it's a chinese manufactured product the same as the brew monk but it's overseen imported and qc checked by brewvolution who are a denmark based company um again we're good pals with these guys we know them well really good working relationship and we're selling these things in good volume that's why we have chosen to focus on these brands the relationships that we have with them are strong the customer service and the support is of a standard that we want to provide to our customers so um, that's why we chose to work with them visually it's a high shine finish on the stainless steel as opposed to the brushed finish it has a extra side glass on the side here the brew monk has made the this part of their side glass so again cam lock fitting really easy to take off the whirlpool arm going around it same controller same all of these systems have the same options in relation to storing recipes um, automating the you know the different stages that you want to go through during the brief process so setting timers setting alarms has the nice easy uh, switches on the side there one for switching on the heating elements and one for switching on the pump um, nice finish again everything's built in below this layer here so you've got your pump and your heating elements in the base so this is the the difference that i was mentioning this sits in the bottom why has it got this on it so that you can lift it out easily whenever it's in the idea behind that is that it catches the trub and the sediment so that whenever you're using the pump the hole doesn't get clogged up because it's covered over with this so the the, the hole in the base of the vessel that primes the pump uh, can continue to um, operate freely with this protecting it this vessel has the same finish as the brew monk it's got the two stages of height for pulling out for sparging internally let's just take that off internally it's got the same system so no seals on this the folded edges telescopic pipe and um, you recirculate with the use of your pump keeping the flow flowing that way this pops in through the lid and goes down over the top of the the top plate in the green basket that's the beacon brewster 40 it's available in the 70 also and a few extras available there with to go along with it also okay so the lids on the brew monk and the beacon brewster are identical they've got the hole there for the recirculating pump to pop through and a good strong handle that you can um, lift on and off it's a wee bit different to slimmer obviously the grandfather vessel in general and it doesn't have the the handle on the top of it with the grandfather it includes the counter flow wart chiller with it for the brew monk and the beacon brewster we recommend that you use a submergent chiller we make our own copper chillers in-house and they're submergible now we design them so that they are suitable for the size for the vessel and we bend the copper tubes coming out over the top of the lip of the vessel and put hose lock fittings onto the edge of them so that you can use your garden hose connections for quick putting together and taking away the reason we choose these three brands is simple we've an existing relationship with the companies we're confident in the quality the customer support the warranties that come with them we're just highlighting them to you today so that you yourself can have a quick look at this video and decide what one's for you um, we try to make it that we have options for all budgets and we also want to appeal to you that if you're maybe not at this level yet and you want to try something else and um, drop us a message get in touch we have options for all levels 
if you aren't in the budget for going straight into an all-in-one brain system you could look at doing an extract kit or you could do a brain in a bag kit but that's just to give you a very quick brief overview of what systems we have what little perks and benefits they have and if you want to look at them in more detail we're going to do complete brew day videos on each vessel People are going to ask me what's the price, the uh, recommended retail price on the G3750. Most online retailers have it uh, in the region of 675. At the time of recording this, they, that may change from when you're watching that, but that's the price that you can expect to buy. The Brew Monk and the Beacon are in around the £350 mark. Again, it could fluctuate, but that's the price that you can expect to pay. Why is the grandfather that much more expensive? Um, I guess you're paying for the brand, but you're also paying for the fact that it's got a Bluetooth Wi-Fi controller. Uh, it comes with a counter flow chiller, so there is other things to take into account, not just the price. They're all backed up with support from ourselves and free technical help, and they're all backed up with great warranties. So thanks so much for joining us at the Get A Brood Warehouse today. If there's anything that you want us to look at in detail, any products you want us to unbox, don't hesitate to get in touch. We'd really appreciate it if you'd give us some comments on your experience, on how you find the different systems in the messages below. Give us a like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for joining us.